Ask the Expert, a web series designed to provide you with practical information on business and finance. I'm your host, Nicole Pride. So today's guest is none other than Usama Young, widely known for his eight-year NFL career where he played with the New Orleans Saints. Perhaps one of his biggest highlights during his NFL career was when he helped the Saints win Super Bowl 44. So Usama's NFL career is quite distinguished. Usama was named the Browns Byron Wizard White Award winner, which acknowledges players' impact in the community on the field and off the field. He also was a recipient of the Raiders Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, which gives NFL uh, players their highest honor for recognizing a player's excellence on and off the field. Um, I'll speak about my own upbringing. My, my time in understanding with money as a young person, I viewed my parents' spending habits. It was typically to save, to spend. We saved money to fix a refrigerator, to fix a car, to buy the children, myself, school clothes, school uh, school uh, equipment and materials, all that, uh, pay, for, pay for sports, but we typically don't save to invest. And that's something that these players are now able to do, saving money to invest, uh, setting a budget, tracking your spending, things that we don't necessarily have habits of early on in our, in our young professional years. One thing that comes to mind is how now with the NCAA, how you know student athletes are able to have sponsorships and endorsements and things like that which is a game changer. Any advice that you give for our up and coming professional athletes? It would, it would be very similar advice to, to what I initially spoke about. Uh, track your spending. But before you even track your spending, understand what your income looks like. Understanding your why would be the first step. Because exactly. uh, if you get into a situation where you're just doing it because you love it, but you can't necessarily say why you want to do it and what you want to accomplish, you're probably just going to go in circles. But understanding your why, putting together that strong mission statement, and then putting together a strong board that's going to check you, that's going to make sure everyone's held accountable and uh, going in the direction of what that mission statement declares. The one thing that I've always shared is college isn't for everyone, but I do want you to see the potential or the opportunities that are out there for you. Even if we don't have a lot, which my family didn't, we didn't have a lot. We could always find a way to help others.